have to be your biggest fan. And when things are really tough and they're really rough and nothing's working, but there's something inside of you that says, I just have to follow that. Because you don't know who you're gonna be, who you're gonna be, who you're gonna be. Hello you guys, welcome back to another vlog. It's been a year since I did my mommy makeover and I love the results. However, during surgery, while they were moving me, the nurse accidentally pulled the drain out. So that created a little loop, an extra access piece of skin that we're gonna get removed today. It's called dog ears. Let me show you. This is the loop. Okay, I was wearing really tight jeans, so that's why you see all this. But so this is the loop that I'm not excited about and we're going to get it done today. Wish me luck. This is how my scar looks. I really like the results. Believe it or not, I still have a little bit of numbness here, but I love the shape of my figure. Just this. I don't like this. So we're gonna get a remove. <sighs> Watch me knock. All right, so he put a numbing cream. I'll let you know if it's painful or not. Okay, so I just got local anesthesia. We're just waiting for it to kick in and get it over with. Okie dokie, so it's day two and I was able to remove the bandage. I have like, an incision of like an inch and with time it is going to heal just like the rest i do think that the scar is fading so that's great it's been a year since i did my mommy makeover and overall i'm happy with the results i've been able to wear outfits that i never dared to wear before because i was always really self-conscious that my scars would show so when i had my first child i had to have an emergency session so i have a vertical and then later on i had the horizontal c sessions and I just didn't like it, it made a fold. To me, it looked almost like a butt. Like I felt like <laughs> my belly indented like that and then I had like an anchor. So I just didn't like it. Every time I saw myself in the mirror, I was like, oh, I wish I didn't have that scar. So when they did the vertical scar, that actually cut the muscle and I had no sensitivity there. And no matter how many abs and what diets and how much exercise I did, that belly pouch never went away. And finally I got it removed, it's gone. I love it. Removing the dog ears was painless and from what I heard, it's actually more common than we think. Mine happened because when they were moving me, the nurse pulled the drainage by accident. Hey, it happens. So the doctor fixed it, he didn't charge me, which I am so happy. Doctors do charge you for touch us and things like that and he didn't. So thank you, Dr. Robert Ray. Thank you again for joining me in this journey. This is the conclusion of that mommy makeover transition and moving on to the next. I strive to show you the reality of my life. Creators have the ability to show you whatever aspect of their life they want to show you. And I feel like many creators, not all, but many creators only choose to show the good, which is great. But at the same time, it's unrealistic. It says unrealistic expectations on how life actually is. Not everything goes according to plan for some. For some, it does and good for you. For me, it hasn't. I've had my ups and downs. Uh, many of us have challenges, obstacles, dreams, things that we have to overcome. And I think it's important to remember that we all have the ability to create the life that we want. And that is what I wanna show you. It is up to us to choose how we're gonna overcome those and how we're gonna react to those. When I started this journey, I was going through a really difficult situation, but I knew that things were going to be okay because I wasn't just gonna go sit and cry on a corner and be depressed for the rest of my life. No, that's not who I am. So I knew no matter what that I was gonna find a way to overcome this and I have. So I had to work on me first to be at a good state of mind and be stronger for the kids who were going through a lot and it was a very difficult situation for them. And that was my priority to have them not only have stability but also heal from this process and be at a good mental state, which they are. After that, I decided to work on my finances. I had to sublease some of the rooms in the property that I was leaving so that I could give the kids stability. For me, giving them one more year of stability was very important. Thankfully, I was able to do that. My best friend was living with me and then my brother-in-law was also subleasing our, our room from us and that worked out great for a year. Then COVID hit. So during COVID, we found a house, a smaller house that fit perfectly for Casey, Karen, and I, and we moved. We're still in the same city so the kids could keep their friendships. Again, giving them that stability that I feel that is so important, especially during times of change. In addition to downsizing, I also got a promotion and I found a side hustle during COVID that, oh my gosh, it was unbelievable because I was making crazy amount of money just by working on the weekends on, during my days off 
And so, yes, I was blessed because that made me a lot of money. So <laughs> I was able to invest a little bit in different things. So once I got my finances under control, it was time to take care of my body. I've always wanted to have a tummy tuck for like, wow, since 2006, I knew I wanted a tummy tuck and I was always told that no, we couldn't do it. I shouldn't do it. We couldn't afford it. Why do I want that vanity, yada, yada, yada. But the bottom line is that I've always wanted. I saw this scar and I don't care what anybody says, I didn't want that scar. Like I looked at myself and I'm like, I don't want that. And so finally I took care of my body. Simultaneously, I've been able to check off a few things from my bucket list, from skydiving to getting on a racetrack. I've also been lucky to travel. I was able to go to Mexico City with my sister and meet my half brother. I went to Florida with my grandkids recently, to Brazil for New Year's, Puerto Rico. Where else did I go? Oh, Colombia with Amy, New York. I've also been able to reconnect with friendships and make more friendships, something that I didn't have time for before. Why am I saying all this? Because I have shown you this journey. If you have been following me for four years now, thank you, I appreciate it. And now I'm ready to show you the next chapter of my book, my personal development, my education. I've been working on my career. For many reasons, my education was on hold. I have an associate in psychology. I was supposed to go back to school right before I was asked for the divorce. For obvious reasons, I had to put that on hold because as a single mom working full-time, having side hustles, and also trying to get the children to a good mental state, it just wasn't easy. It wasn't time, but this year, I felt that things were going smooth and that I was able to take on this new responsibility. It is a personal goal that I had. So in January 2022, I started Pepperdine Crescidio Business School. I've been extremely busy. So my next journey that I'm going to be blogging about is about this personal growth in my education and working on my career. I want to show you the challenges and what it's like to be 43 years old, single parenting with a full-time job back in school. My aim here is to again show you that one, we should always continue growing and working on yourself and two, that no matter what, life goes on and you can't let things stop you. There's ways to do things. Having the right mindset changes your life. My aim is to hopefully inspire you and motivate you and show you that, hey, I know you may be going through something or maybe you're not. Maybe you're just like, I don't know what I want from life. But no matter what life brings, one, you should always continue working on yourself and growing. And two, you can overcome those. You have the capacity to decide how you're going to react and what you're going to do about whatever it is, whatever challenge it is that it's coming your way. Take advantage of it. Turn it around. What are you going to do about it? How are you going to react? And for you to continue growing and moving forward no matter what. I hope to inspire you. I hope to motivate you. I do need your help. I have a goal. I have a goal. I want to get 100,000 subscribers and I understand that I am not doing what is required for me to get 100,000 subscribers because of time, because of this, and I can give you 100,000 excuses. The bottom line is if I don't post, I'm not going to get 100 subscribers. Bottom line, I understand that and I am trying to find ways to, I don't know, to continue posting while still taking care of all my responsibilities. Thank you so much for all your love and support, especially for those who have been following me for a while. I thank you from the heart um, and I hope that you continue to follow my journey. So I need your help to reach 100,000 subscribers. Please help me accomplish my goal. I recognize that in order to get to my goal, I need to do something about it. I need to take action. I need to be posting and I need your help. I need your guidance. I would love to hear from you. What would you like to see? Thank you so much for watching. I hope that this vlog inspired you in some way, shape or form. And we'll see you next time. Bye.